Hey guys, it's Mac from Rev Robotics. We're here today to talk about our Ultra USB Hub. The Ultra USB Hub was designed specifically for use within competitive robotics, making it easier for teams to be able to connect multiple USB devices to an expansion hub. Out of the box, you come with two downstream USB-A ports that can be utilized for your USB connections with a web camera or an expansion hub. The user is able to customize what cable connection that they're going to be using for either 5 volt power or for the upstream data. The Ultra USB kit comes with a variety of cables that are user customizable and user replaceable so that if one of the cables happens to get damaged, you can just purchase a new cable and don't have to purchase a whole new hub. For your upstream data ports, it comes with a 4 pin to micro USB a four pin to USB-A connector. And for your five volt power, you have two options available to you. It is a two pin JST to a three pin DuPont connector, or you can have your two pin JST to USB-A connection. The two pin USB-A connection is typically used with a off board battery pack. So from there, let's end up getting it connected to our Ultra USB hub so that we're able to get a camera connected to an expansion hub. From there, we're going to want to take onto the back and remove the two pieces of M3 hardware on there. So you take your nut driver that comes with the FTC starter kit and you can undo these screws. Next, you're going to want to remove the back cap, which then is going to expose your connections. There is a, both a 4-pin and a 2-pin JST connection. Inside of your Ultra USB kit, you end up getting two different options for both power and for the communication connection. For connecting to our robot controller phone and to using this with the expansion hub to power a webcam, we're going to end up using the micro USB cable as well as the 2-pin DuPont connector. So let's start by plugging in our 4-pin JST into its proper spot. So we find the appropriate cable. It has our four pin JST connector here, and we're gonna plug it into our four pin port. Take the cable, seat it in up and over, and then press down. You may need to use a small screwdriver or some other material to be able to press in the four pin JST cable. The same is true for the two pin cable. You grab your two pin cable, making sure it's mounted the correct way, and then press that into your connection. Again, if you need to have a small screwdriver or something else to be able to help press it in, that can come in handy. Once this is connected, you're gonna to wanna to take the cover and place that back on top of your connection and take your M3 screws and get them started by hand. And then you can finish driving them in with your nut driver. This bottom plate provides some additional strain relief for your cables so that they won't go anywhere. Now the Ultra USB hub is set up, but we're gonna need some additional materials to be able to connect an expansion hub and an offboard webcam. So we need to grab ourselves an expansion hub, a battery, a robot controller phone, a cable from our expansion hub to our, our Ultra USB, and our webcam. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Ultra USB hub, we're gonna plug into one of the downstream ports, our USB connector that is going to go to our expansion hub. Next, we're gonna connect our webcam into the other downstream port. After that, you're gonna to wanna to find your power cable, which is this two pin DuPont connector and plug this into the five volt rail, just like that. From there, then you're gonna take the micro USB cable and plug that into your robot controller phone. And then from here, you're able to provide power to your expansion hub, which then will configure and set up the whole rest of the system. From here, you're able to go into your robot controller, 
you head to the menu, configure robot. You're gonna to wanna to create a new configuration and then it should scan the USB devices and find both the Expansion Hub portal as well as a webcam in presence. If you have any questions on for sample code or other ways that you're able to utilize an off-board USB camera, you can check out the FTC GitHub for more information. If you have any questions about the Ultra USB Hub, check out the product page at revrobotics.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team via email support at revrobotics.com. Other than that, we'll see you at the competition.